Welcome viewers to the SD online classes here we are continuing our examples example number four it says that this is example four okay three also I kept it here it was in the previous video a light radiation of wavelength 500 nanometer that means this time we are doing refractive index in terms of wavelength that formula also we have you can go in the previous videos and search 500 nanometer in air okay in air enters a glass slab of refractive index 1.5 that means the glass has the refractive index 1 point refractive index 1.5 calculate the speed also frequency and also wavelength of this radiation in glass assume that the frequency of light in glass is same as that in air the frequency change we will not consider and let us try to do the first thing what we know is speed of light in glass this is what because refractive index is what speed of light in air divided by refractive index of glass why this is so because mu is equal to c by v you remember the formula that is why so that is why v equal to from this what we get v is equal to c remains here mu goes here okay this is from here we are getting this one so here what you will write speed of light in air is what you know that it is 3 into 10 to power 8 even if it is not given also this should be known okay in the previous example this value was given but this is a universally known value okay you cannot change so you are expected that you know this value now refractive index of the, of the glass is given in the question 1.5 so you put it here 3 and 1.5 is half of 1.5's double is 3 remember 1.5 2's are 3 so that way you can do very easily this is 2 if you divide this by this you get 2 into 10 to power 8 meter per second this is the speed of light in glass 2 into 10 to power 8 meter per second this is what I found here number 1 okay this will be number 1 the formula is not complicated don't confuse here this this, uh, this is the formula okay and the second part now frequency and wavelength also remain there is one more formula which says this is the second part okay this is the second one question number four we are doing one is the second in the second part frequency this formula also we have done this new n u new equal to speed of light in air divided by wavelength of light in air this is the formula so what you get here speed of light in air is always 3 into 10 to power 8 meter per second wavelength of light in the air is here 500 nanometer can you see in the question 500 nano means 10 to power minus 9 500 in SI unit you have to write so into 10 to power minus 9 remember nanometer is not an SI unit very small unit when you make into meter it will become 10 to power minus 9 okay so here it is meter per second here it is meter so see meter and meter will cancel per second will remain that is the unit of frequency also when you divide this what you will get is 6 into 10 to the power 14 second will be on the denominator so it is per second this is the frequency answer you also have one more thing to find which is here what wavelength of the light wavelength of the light of the radiation in the glass let us write that wavelength of the light in glass okay in glass not in air equal to what is the formula speed of light in glass divided by frequency of light so what is this speed of light in glass already found 2 into 10 to power 8 meter per second you no know, need to write the unit also you, you can understand at the end frequency of light is what you got it here 6 into 10 to the power 14 this is speed is meter per second this is per second okay frequency is per second it will go uh, it will divide this second will come down this second will go up this per second means down this per second means up so this will cancel so only meter will remain so this will be when you divide this two 
what you are going to get finally is 6 6 7 into 10 to power minus 9 meter why 10 to power min minus 9 because we want to write it as 667 nanometer uh, wavelengths are always written in this type of units because they are very small okay this is your example number four finished okay so this is the last example in this part this says the refractive index of diamond mu i'll write d okay 2.47 and that of the glass mu g is 1.51 now you have to see here what is the speed of light and here also what is the speed of light if you remember there is very easy formula connecting refractive index and speed of light in air and this medium okay that much only you have to use what is that formula mu is equal to c by v this is the one you are going to use in both the cases okay for diamond let us use for diamond for diamond mu d equal to speed of light is always same so see v is speed of light in the diamond right so let me write here what i get cross multiply v d will become c by mu d right cross multiply it comes here it goes here c is what 3 into 10 to power 8 what is mu d refractive index of the diamond 2.47 so what you will get here if you divide 1.215 into 10 to power 8 meter per second fine we stop here for glass now for diamond it is finished for glass and then after doing that we will compare which is more faster that's all mu g equal to what is the formula c by mu g speed of light in air divided by speed of light in the glass there it was speed of light in the diamond cross multiply again v g equal to this will come here c by mu g 3 into 10 to power 8 what is this mu g is how much it is 1.51 what is the answer here you will get 1 point almost like 2 because they are giving 1.51 if they would have given 1.5 only i could have write this 2 but 1.51 is slightly less you should divide it you will get 1.987 into 10 to power 8 meter per second you see when you divide you take three units okay three units so that it will be easy to subtract now compare which is more faster which is more 1.21 is more or 1.9 this is more okay in the glass it travels faster why because refractive index is less here refractive index more means it will be more difficult for the light to travel there in the diamond more easy in the glass so compare how the difference is mu g minus mu oh, not mu v g minus v d because glass in the glass the velocity is more 1.987 into 10 to power 8 minus 1.215 into 10 to power 8 subtract it what you will get is 7.72 into 10 to power 8 meter per second okay this much faster is the one in actually how you will get is like this if you subtract this two let me show you here 1.987 you will get 0 0.272 into 10 to power 8 if you put in the standard way putting the decimal on the first point 2.72 because of this this will be reduced to one more 7 meter per second you look at the difference 2.72 into 10 to power 7 is the difference very high difference between the speed of light in the glass and the diamond okay this was the one so how much faster light travels in glass than in diamond it travels 2.72 into 10 to the power 7 meter per second faster in the glass than compared to the diamond that is the answer okay thank you